Hello, another beer review. So today we have a beer from Elusive Brewing. It's in collaboration with Burning Sky and The Colonel. So you could always say that it's like the trilogy of underrated breweries in the UK right there with this collab. Um, it's called Destination IPA. It's 6.5% ABV. I imagine considering the breweries involved, it's not going to be a hazy boy. It's going to be more of a West Coast leaning IPA. Um, Elusive Brewing creates beers with one eye on tradition and the other on taking things to the next level. Insert coin to play. So yeah, Elusive are all their sort of video game sort of uh, themed can art and stuff. Looking at this one, it's almost kind of cyberpunky maybe. I don't know, probably something I've not played, but like maybe cyberpunk is the one that well, it comes to mind for me, but who knows? Uh, brewed in collaboration with our friends Burning Sky, the Colonel Brewery, and Phil Lowry. I don't know who Phil Lowry is, but apparently it's with him as well. Um, this American style IPA uses a mix of classic Yakima Valley hops varieties along with experimental variety HPC 522 to deliver notes of orange, citrus, pine, resin, and grapefruit in a bright and bitter package. Brewed to celebrate our founder Andy's 50th birthday. So that's Andy Parker, the um, also known as the nicest guy in brewing. Um, <laughs> he seems like a, a good guy in the industry, seems to be a, sort of promote a lot of sort of sort of you know independence and whatnot but yeah I'm just seeing if it says any more about the hops it just says classic Yakima Valley hop varieties I know we've got the experimental one in there but it doesn't say what other ones are in there never mind interestingly the Colonel collabing with them um Colonel have not done many collabs in their time so that's a real gotta be a real honor for Andy getting that one in the bag for his birthday but anyway happy belated birthday Andy I know you don't know me but if you do for some reason watch this video anyway pours lovely golden colour into the glass look at that beautiful colour golden unfiltered few fingers of head a beautiful looking beer let's go for the smell so a bit of dankness resiny it's grapefruit marmalade orange a little peachy piffy All the, all the citrus, bit of pine, slightly caramelly, smells like a classic west coast, smells lovely. Let's dive in, looking forward to this one. Straight away, big bitterness, big bitterness how it should be then it's loads of pine resin and there's a real real sort of piffiness loads of grapefruit lemon orange there's a little bit of malt character as well there's a slight toffee note a little bit biscuity I mean, that is spot on. That is absolutely spot on. It's light, easy drinking. You know, it's a West Coast and not got that. You're not going to expect that sort of thick, super juicy body. You expect you have more of a, a lighter. Well, it's not thin. It's not thin at all. It's you know, it's got a, it has it is got a fullness to it, but you know, it's not. It's completely different. Quite dry on the finish. Mm. 
that is absolutely beautiful. Beautiful stuff. I mean, you'd expect it, three breweries, but I mean, I'm becoming a bit of a big fan of Elusive, actually. I'd had a few of their beers before, but I, I did the um, Craft Beer Channel, did their uh, drink-along thing a couple of months ago now with uh, with Elusive, and, you know, I think it was an eight, pack, eight or nine pack, I can't remember, of beers in that, what came with that. All of them were absolutely spot on, like, they nailed every style. You know, they had a brilliant, there was a brilliant mild, there was a brilliant stout, brilliant imperial stout, brilliant American pale ale, brilliant West Coast IPA, brilliant saison, you know, brilliant sour in there as well. You know, every style, style was nailed, you know. So I'm becoming a bit of a big fan of Elusive and starting to look out a lot more for their beers. I like, what I like about them is Andy just brews what he wants to brew. You know, it doesn't give give in to the latest trends or hype or whatever. You know, it just brew hazy double IPAs and big adjunct packed imperial stouts and smoothie sours and stuff. You know, he brews very much your sort of traditional American style beers, your big West Coast IPAs, your red IPAs, your black IPAs. As well as obviously some traditional English styles like miles and bitters and stuff, but you know he brews what he likes to drink, which is a pretty pretty good ethos to have. But yeah, no, brilliant beer, brilliant, brilliant, brilliant beer. Um, yeah, highly recommend this one. Not much you can really fault this on. Um, so yeah, recommend it. So yeah, thank you for watching. Drop us your thoughts below, give us a like, subscribe if you haven't already, and hopefully we'll see you on the next one. Cheers.